Yellow just blocking in the house in my road. Gotta make it put it on. She don't like wearing clothes. Just left Concord, no Carolina. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream. She sure remember you. Ice cube make a gym. Shaving like the winner do. Do sitting with the crew. I done did some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. How many, how many times you been on out? Once, twice. I've been on right to sound like four or five times. All right, how many times you had to sit for a while? I mean, I always had to sit. Like, you feel me? I never went on there for no two days and had to come home. Nah, and I mean, I always was in there for a series of months, at least some months. Know what I mean? All right. But I never went on Rikers Island for a long period of time. I even got bailed out after a few months, went up north. You understand what I'm saying? Or be the case and came home. After a few months, you feel me? I never was on the island for like a year, two years, and all of that. Nah. All right. All right. So, um, if you care to speak on it, you ain't got to give too much information. You had said earlier that you had got into a situation and you was looking at like 25. Yeah, like, you know, I'm about to do, I'm about to do the documentary of my life story real soon. Know what I mean, so I ain't gonna speak about the whole situation because I'm okay, a, it's bet. gonna be exclusive for that shit. But bet. I had an accidental shooting, my nigga. I had an accidental shooting. Somebody got shot and killed by accident, and I got charged with murder because they didn't believe it was an accident. You of course, not. yeah. And, yeah, that basically I had to fight for my, I had to fight for my life and freedom in the court of law at 16 years old. You feel what I'm saying? So. It was rough, but um. Oh, you were sixteen. You was you was wild young. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was sixteen. Cash. Uh, so so you went to C seventy four adolescent. Yes, sir. Straight to C seventy four. All right, so boom. This is my thing. Being that you older than me, right? By the time I got to Rikers Island, right, it was two thousand eight. Um. I'm going to bring, I'm going I'm to I'm have you, you know what I'm saying, explain your thoughts all the way from the beginning when you first stepped in the building. But I remember being in different cells and shit, going to different places, and I'm looking at the radiators, and the metal pieces from the radiators is almost like all gone. It's almost all pipe. And I'm like, a whole lot of weapons been made from these radiators over the years because it's like... It ain't even enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been, I remember times I'm trying to find pieces to make shit and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Just in case I'm going to get into a situation. And I'm like, yo, they was in here wilding in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> I'm like, yo, they was in here wilding. You know what I'm saying? Like, so being 16, right? And you have an accidental shooting. You go to the bookings, you get remanded. They're like, okay, you go going to Rikers Island. So now it's your first time going to Rikers Island. What are your thoughts being shackled up, sitting on a bus, taking that ride? What is your thoughts stepping into the building? Do you feel any kind of fear? You know what I'm saying? I, I remember I, I explained my personal experiences is, is that I wasn't, I wasn't shook, shook. I wasn't scared to death. Because I was kind of familiar with stories that I heard, but I also was like apprehensive. I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, how crazy is this going to be? You know, like I was a little bit concerned. But what was going through your mind at that time? 16. I mean, you know, I gave it up on my channel where I told niggas how it was, how I came through. But I was I was scared to death. First, I didn't know nothing about Rikers Island. Like, nobody put me on to... The four building and how that shit was and this and that. Like, I mean, I knew niggas that did time that, that was in the four building and the six building, but I ain't asked them no questions. I wasn't really, I mean, I ain't, I, that, I, I was the type of nigga, I'm like, nigga, I ain't never getting locked up. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't never getting locked up. That was my mentality. Like, I had a gun on me every day, all day, but in my head, I'm like, nigga, I ain't never getting locked up or getting caught. Like, I'm too smart. That was the mentality I had. So I ain't have no pre-education on Rikers Island. So when I came through the four building, I mean, as soon as I came through and I was in the I was in the meds, I seen a nigga come through with his head split the fuck open. You feel what I'm saying? And the nigga was too nonchalant about the whole shit to me. Like, you feel me? Like, he was talking to some other nigga, asking him questions about the hood and shit. 
while his head was bleeding and he was soaking up a, a fucking towel with his head. And nigga was like, yo, what happened, son? He was like, oh, this, this shit ain't nothing, man. I was asleep and a nigga ran down on me and stabbed me in my head, man. He said, I'm going to get my shit stitched up. I'm going to go back to the dorm and I'm going to blow fire out that nigga. Like, you feel me? Shit. It, it, it was nothing. <laughs> so when I saw that shit, I was like, what? Damn. Said, nah. What the fuck you mean you was asleep and a nigga ran up ran up on you and stabbed you in your head while you were asleep? I said, nah, nigga, I can't be here. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> that's already that's already one of the craziest shits I ever heard, bro. That's that's crazy. He was he was like nonchalant. Nah, his shit was leaking. He was he had a police escort. The nigga was like, oh shit, yo, my nigga, what's up? Because another nigga he knew was coming in from around his way. He said, yo, what's up, nigga? Yo, I was just talking about you. Yo, what's up with your sister? You got your sister number? He like, yo, let me get that shit. I mean, he was like, and the nigga was looking at his head. The nigga was like, pause. The nigga was like, yo, what happened to your shit? And he was like, huh? Oh, this? He said, oh, man, that shit ain't nothing, son. I was asleep. And nigga said the soldier at me. I ain't know what a soldier was at that time on the island. They was calling niggas doges, soldiers. S1Ws. Nigga yeah. was like, yo, nigga sent S1W at me, my nigga. And niggas and, and the nigga stabbed me up in my head while I was asleep, man. You feel me? He said, but I'm about to get this shit stitched up. I'm gonna go back to the dorm. I'm gonna cut the shit out that nigga. But yo, what's up with your sister, my nigga? How your sister been? I'm like, yo, <laughs> niggas gotta get me out of here, Lord. Yo, I'm like, nigga, I, yo, that that nigga right there was a savage. That nigga right there is a savage. Yeah, that, bro. Nigga, that, that shit was savagery, my nigga.